Okay. So what we have here in is a five-week-old Americana hen who's been scalped by a rat. And I know it, um, Ag and Markets actually concur. Uh, someone from Ag and Markets, I happened to see her today. I took my chicken to, with me to the farmer's market. Uh, and when I woke, when I got um, home last night, I found this chicken stuck between the bars of her of her hutch. So something was trying to pull her through. And this morning, I realized there was a two week old chick missing, another five week old chick missing, and this one um, I had, I didn't realize it last night, but this morning I did a head count, and um, I did realize there were two other chicks missing. So, but last night I put her under a heat lamp, and I this is how I. I do any kind of um, open wound as I take uh, the original antiseptic Listerine, the original one. Thanks to my friend Stephanie and Melanie um, who told me about this little trick. You dilute it in water and I just keep it diluted in an old Kool-Aid thing and I keep that with me and covered with a cotton ball. Uh, the reason we're doing this is because the eye damage, I want to make sure the eye stay moist so every hour I do this. And it's not going to hurt the eye. And Listerine does kill germs. So you can actually use this. See, now this, I know, all right. I don't know. Uh, but this is what a rat does. And so if you were to keep chickens, and especially in the city, you must, you could, should consider getting a, a chicken that's at least 10, 15 weeks old. Because this is what happens if I'm, and there's rats in the city. Um, but I squeeze. Because this is what a rat will do. And you don't want to have to. And I don't know if you can see it all the way down. She scalped all the way down her neck. And that's, it's really ugly. Um, but she's fighting really strong. And I'm trying to kill all the germs. And I keep her eye very moist. I don't want her to lose her sight. I know, sweetie. And her ear, she may not be able to hear out of this particular ear. Whatever got her, and I do think it is the rat, really did a number on her. Um... And so she's actually probably in shock. But right here is how I'll disinfect her. But because, A, she's somewhat blind because it's just swollen, that I have to feed her by hand every hour. And this is how I would do it. So if you, I, I put a pellet, and she's resisting, so she's strong. So I put a pellet. I have a little syringe with water. She's eating, you know. <laughs> she wants to eat. And there you go. And let her... You let her do that. I take another one and I just do that. And in the meantime, what's happening is the um, Listerine is drying on her head before I apply the curative healing oil. And put some, there you go. And I will do another. The problem I have, okay, okay, good girl. I know. All right, open. Say, yeah. Okay. Come on. There you go. So if you have chickens, you should have a needle of syringe. There you go. That's a good girl. You should have cotton balls. You should have Listerine. You need to have blue coat. All right, let's see. Yeah, that's it. And we just are going to keep feeding one pellet at a time. That's a good girl. And she's opening her eye. So what I've done has worked because now... Her eye's not swollen as much as it was last night. It was really swollen. I just didn't have anybody to film this for me. One more. And she was in shock. It was awful. There you go. And then I just... Why is her dental flossing? That's odd. Okay. <laughs> All right. And then I just get more water. And she's really eating well. And I don't know how her skin is going to grow back if she'll ever have feathers. Because this is very extensive damage. Um, but you know, this is a hen. It's an Americana. She lays, well, I don't know if she'll lay a blue, a green, or a pink egg, but she's pure, and I sell these eggs online. And, um, even if she wasn't, I'd still try to, oh, it's stuck under your tongue. Let me help you. I'd still try to help her. Every animal dies with a pure heart. <laughs> she's funny. Let me get you in there. Okay. Now, if she's, um, up and walking in the morning and able to eat and drink on her own, I won't have to do this tomorrow. But, you know, and I, I'll just measure, I'll measure it when I see her. Now, this should be dry enough. This is my curative oil. It has tea tree, peppermint, eucalyptus, red thyme, and I will just, and it's not getting in her eye, but it's going to go down gently. And she, yeah. 
And at the very least, this is going to not allow flies to sit on it. And flies, they sit and they would, you know, perhaps uh, lay some eggs. And I have to pull this, I know, but I want it to get underneath. Because it's very extensive damage down here. Let's see what you got. Can you see that? Oh, yeah, that's pretty ugly, isn't it? So, she's, she's a wonderful girl. Yeah. She's responding really, really well. Both her eyes are opening. You're going to make it. Yes, you are. There. And, you know, and she moves her toes. So that's a really good sign. Let's see. So she really does show a lot of uh, positive signs that tells me that she's going to make it. It's just going to be a matter of how long. Um, and if she's not going to give up, I'm not going to give up. Okay, there we go. And then I will just place her right back, and I have her on a bed. I'll probably feed her a little bit more, but I have her on a little bed of, um, what is that, shredded paper. And she's just sitting here, and I keep her covered with this. And a little blanket, and I will keep a heat lamp on her at night. And if she's up and walking in the morning and eating and drinking, you know, she's going to be fine. All right, there you go.